Travis got it here. And I'm back with some more boxing. So now, Triple G is going to lose his IBF title. When he could have fought, that that dude only got 12 fights. I mean, he looked good against the opponents that he's beat. He beat Toriano Johnson the fuck up. And he beat Sam Solomon the fuck up. But outside of those two wins, he don't really got too many like outstanding names on his record. But he's looked amazing against all of the fighters that he's fought. So that's just like enough for Triple G to not want to make the fight. You don't want to take a chance of getting beat the fuck up by a legitimate mandatory, just like you didn't really want to fight Daniel Jacobs. Abel Sanchez, he didn't want it to end. He didn't want this hype job shit to end. He didn't want to see Triple G fight Daniel Jacobs either. Not, they didn't want to make that fight. But the WBA enforced it after Daniel Jacobs asked for it. He said it's about time for us to make that fight. And then you robbed Daniel Jacobs. Who defeated Triple G? You robbed him. See? A legitimate mandatory fight, and you robbed the guy. Daniel Jacobs. And then a legitimate... Well, you fought Dominic Wade, who was coming off of a robbery, over Sam Solomon. You all good with that? Fraud shit. Robbing Daniel Jacobs. Fraud shit. Fighting a... Dominic Way, who had no chance of winning that fight, fraud shit. You you gonna fight Canelo again, even if he tested positive for some shit, and no matter how he act about this drug testing shit, you still gonna fight him, fraud shit. You felt like he was cheating, leading up to the first fight. You still went through with that fight. Was you cheating? How could he cheat and still be doing Usada? You st- you showing pictures of fucking bumps on his stomach and shit? He passed all of his tests. So if he can cheat, then you can cheat. Fraud shit. <laughs> if there's some fraud shit involved, expect Triple G to be all for it. But if you gotta face a decent fucking mandatory, Triple G's gonna hesitate. And now, he done about sold out. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck about Undisputed. He don't give a fuck about the fans. He fought a fucking bum in a smaller weight class. Like, all of this time that we've been asking Triple G to stop fighting bums, he fight a couple good names, Canelo and Daniel Jacobs. You lose one of the fights, and then you go back to fighting fucking bums. After everything that we done been through, Triple G. Instead of fighting this fucking mandatory. Now, I know you wanted to make the Canelo fight. But I ain't have to make that fight. I've watched that fight, too, recently. I wasn't even going to watch it. Because it's like... It's not like we're going to be able to watch the Vonis fight to see how he's going to perform against fucking Canelo. Vonis got fucked up. But... And then he quit. But he had every reason to quit because he should have never fucking took that fight. He fought Triple G, you know, throwing a couple couple shots and shit. Them shots was weak as fuck. Vonis isn't even a big puncher for 154. Triple G just big as fuck running up on Vonis. He hit that motherfucker like three or four times in that corner hard as fuck. And nobody even... Questioned Vonis for quitting Even though he got up like he was finna stand up And he just laid back down Yeah You better lay back down Fuck it Steal as much money from the sport as you possibly can Vonis made a quarter million fucking dollars To be involved in some fraud shit Because he has to take care of his family So you have to go in there against the fucking Terminator And get fucked up By a fraud. In a fraud contest that never should have took place. 
boxing is a cold sport. They let Vonis put his life in danger so they can make some money. Because everybody made money. It wasn't just Triple G and Vonis. HBO made money. They allowed that shit. The only motherfuckers that didn't allow this shit was the IBF. They didn't sanction that fight, but they allowed him to go through with the fight and keep his belt. But then he had 90 days to fight Servachenko. And he's not going to make that fight. Because he want to fight Canelo in September. So he's not going to be able to fight Servachenko in August. But he could have fought Servachenko in May. These motherfuckers kept saying, we have a backup opponent. We have a backup plan. We're going to fight Billy Joe Saunders if... The Canelo fight, you knew that Canelo tested positive back in February. You knew that you had an IBF mandatory that was due. And you knew that fucking Billy Joe Sanders was scared as fuck to make that fight too. It's really the WBC's man turn to, to enforce a mandatory on Triple G. But... They was going to allow Canelo to go through with the Triple G fight and make the WBC mandatory wait. But Canelo fucked that shit up. And the IBF ain't fucking around. And you said fuck the IBF. Because the WBC, they just like, fuck it. You want to fight a bum? Whatever. Go fight a fucking bum. They ain't enforcing they mandatory on you. IBF is like, hey, you owe us a mandatory. It's not a bum winning a robbery. So I'm going to go find me a bum. You ain't got no bum as my mandatory this time. I'm going to go find a fucking bum. So I can have a fraud event and knock a fucking bum the fuck out. That's what you want to do. Vonis should have got up so he can get fucked up some more. We need to see, like... And that, that shit, a lot of people tuned in to that shit. It became, like, the most viewed boxing event of the year. The motherfuckers knew that that bum was going to get fucked up. That's why. Ain't nobody watching it because they knew it was a, a competitive fight. Or even if they... Nobody ain't even watching it just because they love Triple G that much. They just like, oh my God, this shit is going to be fucking horrible. And it was. The fucking bum got fucking obliterated, destroyed, fucked up. And then he quit. He probably was crying on the ground. And he had every reason to fucking cry. Because this is the sport that you decided to dedicate your life to and you have to go in there and get hit by a fucking train to provide for your fucking family because you have a fucking greedy champion who is a fraud and want to hold a fraud contest he didn't even have to fight on the fucking fifth but he wanted to make that million dollars like it really means some shit you didn't need that fucking million dollars you just made like 15 million against Canelo or whatever the fuck you made. But you want it to be a fucking fraud. Because you can't help yourself. And you're not going to fight Derva Chico. Because you want to be a fucking fraud. And you can't help yourself. So y'all can look forward to Triple G getting stripped for that IBF title. Because he's a fucking fraud. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in. Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe.